relatively low note, right at the top of the speech quality range. Kia ora, and in today's analysis and reaction, we're going to be taking a look at Tate McRae with Greedy live. Let's see what she's up to with her vocal technique. He said, are you serious? I try, but I can figure out I've been next to you all night Still don't know what you're about You keep ta 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 talking Not much coming out your mouth Can't you tell that I want you? I want myself Baby, please believe me I'll put you through hell Just to know me, yeah, yeah So sure of yourself Baby, don't get crazy I see you, I am in. I see you, I am. Actually, that is a B flat four. Oh my goodness me, that's actually a relatively low note. So where she's at, I see you, I am. So that's a lovely, lovely quiet sound. A little bit of breath going in there. I'm just like flabbergasted that it's actually so, so low because it sounds really high. We're going to talk a little bit in the next break about why she sounds higher um, when the note is actually relatively low. Oh, so cool. We don't get greedy as you want it well. Oh, I see you, I am in down, but you'll never know much past my name. How I'm running this room around. That I'm still half your age Yeah, you la 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 Looking at me like I'm some sweet escape Obvious that you want me I will want myself Baby, please believe me This is so good because I love that I've been following Tate for a really long time But the way that in which she's creating that like slightly higher set sound Now I'm not making fun of her But the way that we do this Is that we raise the larynx And we just squeeze the back of the tongue a little bit Run away and that's really, like, for my voice, that's really uncomfortable. I wouldn't necessarily have that kind of sound on those high notes. But that then, she goes up the octave to the B flat five. It could be as well that her larynx is quite small because the size of the larynx also plays a role in the timbre of the Curious, is this for real? It's just a night. Tell if you love or hate me. Never met someone like that. Draw me so, so, so crazy. You know you got that effect. I said, let me check. I will want myself. Baby, please believe me. I'll be you to help. Cause I know me, yeah, yeah. So sure of yourself. Baby, don't get crazy. Weird place. I don't know the song at all, so I don't really know like uh, where to stop, and it's kind of like flowing into itself. But please believe me. Oh my god, that's actually a C sharp five. I got this. Just checking. I usually transpose my keyboard uh, for different singers when we're changing the keys of songs. Um, so that C sharp five. That's actually right at the top of the speech quality range or the chest voice range. Now, although you might hear and go, "Oh, that's not chest voice. It's not like this deeper, darker Adele sound." Um, it's still chest voice actually. So we're still looking at that thicker vocal folds. And when she's going, "And please believe me," we're going into this breathy head voice sound or a falsetto type of sound. But if you would like a video more about the chest voice quality and how to take it further up in the range, then let me know down in the comments so that I know that that's something that you're looking out for. Let's go to this chorus. This is such a good song. So sure of yourself, baby, don't get greedy. I sure want it well. Oh, I, I would want for myself. I, I would want for myself. Okay, 
terrible. I just stopped at like the totally wrong point. point. Um, but you see as well, like how effective just a really simple set is. Of course, obviously there's the, the camera going around and you can see the tracks for the camera to go on and then going away from it. Like there is that movement there, but it's a very simple performance. Um, so, you know, I know I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Uh, you don't have to have a lot of schnick schnack in order to make your performances really effective. And uh, I actually think sometimes these types of performances are my absolute favorite because you can really see what the artist is doing. You see as well, you heard that Tate really stayed at quite a similar vocal range um, of volume actually throughout the whole performance. So it wasn't like she got particularly loud, she started a little bit quieter. Um, so personally, I would like to see a little bit more nuance in that. But let me know what your favorite Tate McRae performance is, live performances down in the comments so I know what to have a look at next time. And uh, let me know what you love most about Tate McRae. I just find it so fantastic that she's someone who grew, um, you know, starting off at like what, 11, 12 years old here on YouTube um, and really, slowly growing her brand and her you know her ability and also you know as a musician and growing and I love that we've been able to see that as well uh, so if you want to check out my other Tate McRae analysis then check it out up here she's a wonderful performer and I uh, have an awesome rest of your day happy singing khaki channel